Let's say that I want to write an equation of a line where I give you the slope, but I don't give you the y-intercept this time. When I give you the slope and the y-intercept, it's pretty easy. You put the slope in here and you put the y-value from the y-intercept in for b. But if I don't give you the y-intercept in terms of an ordered pair, if I just give you a point that goes through that line, if I just give you an x and a y-value, then what you have to determine is you have to find this b value given x and y, which you can put in here and here, and given the slope, which you can put in right there, then you can solve for the letter b, which is the y value in the y-intercept, and you can write the equation in slope-intercept form. Let's do that for this problem. So, in this ordered pair, my y value is a negative 2. So I'm going to substitute in right here a negative 2 for y. My slope for this line is 6. I'm going to substitute in a 6. And my x value in this ordered pair is a positive 4. The only thing that I don't know is the letter b. So using order of operations, I'm going to multiply here. And then I'm going to solve for b by subtracting 24 from both sides of this equation. And I'm going to find out that my b value is, is equal to a negative 26. That value right there is equal to a negative 26. So what I'm going to do now to write my equation in slope-intercept form is I'm going to put in a 6, because it was given here. And I'm going to put in the b value that I just solved for of a negative 26. And I will have an equation, y equals 6x minus 26. And this equation is in slope-intercept form. It is guaranteed to have that slope. And that ordered pair is a solution to this equation. Um, the next problem that I'd like to do is one where I give you two ordered pairs. And that's all I give you. And I ask you to write the equation of the line. So if I give you, so I'm not going to give you the slope this time and an ordered pair. I'm going to give you two ordered pairs. So let's go ahead with um, a negative 6, comma 1, and 2, comma 3. One of the things that should go through your mind anytime you see two ordered pairs and you're working with linear equations is you should say to yourself, oh, if I have two ordered pairs, I can find the slope if I would like. So that's one of the things that you should do. So given those two values, let's find the slope of this line, which is done by taking y sub 2 minus y sub 1 and dividing it by x sub 2 minus x sub 1. So I am going to use this point as my second point. I always kind of look at my y's first, and I prefer to take 3 and subtract 1 than 1 and subtract 3. You know, it may work out nice and it may not work out nice because the x values when subtracted might be something negative, but I am trying to make y be positive by taking 3 and subtracting 1. So if I go in that order, 3 minus 1, then I must use this value first in the denominator, so take 2 and subtract that negative 6 from upstairs. So the slope of this line, 3 minus 1 is 2, and 2 plus 6 is 8, and that reduces to 1 fourth. So I've got the slope of my line. I'm now going to take that slope of 1 fourth and put it into this equation with one of these two ordered pairs. It doesn't matter which one, and you should try it using the other one. I'm only going to take the time to try to use one of the ordered pairs. Um, because those two ordered pairs cause that slope, I can use either one. I'm going to take this one because it's both, they're both positive values. So for y, I'm going to put in a 3. For m, I know I need to use a 1 quarter. For x, therefore, I have to use the 2. I'm going to put it up high so I can see it. It's a 2 or 2 over 1. And I am attempting to solve for b. So this fraction right here turns out to be 1 half. So I have 3 equals 1 half plus b. I'm going to bring this over here. So 3 equals 1 half plus b. And to solve for b, I'm going to subtract 1 half from both sides. 3 minus 1 half is 2 and a half. And 2 and a half is the same thing as 5 halves. 
And I now finally, after all of this work, have a B value that I can put into this equation. I have a slope that I calculated from the two ordered pairs. And for M and for B, I can write the equation Y equals one-fourth times X plus five halves, my B value. And I have a linear equation whose slope is represented by the slope between these two ordered pairs and that goes through both of those points as well. You could graph it to check it. Um, it's a really, really good thing to do. Um, please, whenever you see two ordered pairs, ah, think slope. I must have to do that first. Once I have the slope in an ordered pair, I can go anywhere with that and write the equation.